for a lot of people out there, we don't really know what is the real bottom for oil prices. Okay. So if you have someone who is very brave and bold and say, okay, you know, it's going to bottom out at, I don't know, $10, then at least if there's a fair certainty we're near the bottom, then people can be a little bit more confident. But if you have no idea what's the bottom, I mean, we always thought that when oil prices was 100 plus, we always thought that 60, 70 was the bottom, right? But today where we are, we already sub 30. So is the bo real bottom $20, $15 or $10? I think it's anybody's guess. Okay. So they have called for an emergency OPEC meeting in March. So if that transpires, I think the likelihood of at least some token gesture to try and uh, you know think of some measures that can be a little bit more supportive of oil prices, uh, there's a chance of that happening. So I don't think it will be a total hands-off uh, approach like what we have seen in the past. Okay. And partly also because if you look at prices as being a self-adjusting mechanism, okay, then you know really at $26 per barrel kind of prices, how many people can, how many oil producers can actually survive for prolonged periods of time. So you look at all the oil majors, we've already had a few consecutive years of capex cuts. The magnitude of the cuts that they are implementing for this year also. Altogether, I think if you look at over the last three years or so, the amount of capex cuts should start to have an impact on supply.